Oh, I see someone pop on. I'm sorry the YouTube didn't work. Technical difficulties with YouTube. I'll have to figure that out. I'll just wait a little bit here until I see some more people pop on. Oh, hi everybody. Sorry for the uh, technical difficulties with YouTube. It wasn't it wasn't working, so I had to go live on Facebook. I apologize for that. I was really hoping that YouTube would work because I know some folks don't have Facebook. So I'll let a few more people get on here. I'm sorry. If you're logged in, send me a send me a message so I know who's here. This is new to me. I'm so glad you guys could join us. I see Carrie is in and Ann and Emily. Hi. Please let me know you're here. Hi, Jan. Hi, Jennifer. Oh, I'm so glad you guys could join. This will be fun. Hi, Heather. Hi, Sarah. Oh, and Megan. Hi, Alicia and Jessica, Jeff Sullivan family. <laughs> this is fun. So I just wanted to get on tonight. You know, it's the first day of school eve. And um, I know everybody's kind of excited and anxious and nervous and, and all that. But kids, let me just tell you something. I'm going to let you know a little secret. Your teachers and your principal are also nervous about the first day of school. That year. Those of you who are teachers on here, I think you could agree with me. Um, so my name is Mrs. Crookshank, and I am uh, your new elementary school principal and CSE chair. And I just wanted to introduce myself a little bit tonight, just so that you, when you walk into school tomorrow, you know who I was. Um, sometimes I have my glasses on. Sometimes I take them off. It kind of just depends on what's going on. Uh, but I'm really, really excited to meet all of you. So without further ado, I have a couple books that I wanted to read to you today. Um, and, and, and they all center around the theme of kindness uh, because to me it's very, very important that we're all kind to one another and, and, and we do our best to do that. You know, sometimes we're in certain circumstances and it's hard to be nice to someone. But we all have to remember we everybody has feelings and we're all different and we learn differently and we live differently and we all have to respect that. So without further ado, the first book. It's called, I Like Myself. And I remember reading this to my daughter. I have three children, um, two are grown adults. Uh, one is 23, that's Daniel. And Leah is 20. And Lucas is almost 13. So I do remember Leah, my daughter, getting this when she was in grade school um, from a mentor of hers. So I thought you might like it. So I Like Myself by Karen Beaumont, illustrated by David Catro. I like myself. 
I'm glad I'm me. There's no one else I'd rather be. I like my eyes, my ears, my nose. I like my fingers and my toes. I like me wild, I like me tame. I like me different and the same. Some of these pictures are really great. I'll have these books in my office tomorrow, and all week actually, if you like to come in and see them. I like me fast, I like me slow. I like me everywhere I go. I like me on the inside too, for all that I think and say and do. Inside, outside, upside down, from head to toe and all around. I like it all. It all is me. And me is all I want to be. That's really important. And I don't care in any way what someone else may think or say. That's hard to do sometimes. I may be called a silly nut or a crazy cuckoo bird. So what? I'm having too much fun, you see, for anything to bother me. Even when I look a mess, I still don't like me any less. Because nothing in this world, you know, can change what's deep inside. And so, no matter if they stop and stare, no person ever anywhere can make me feel that what they see is all there really is to me. I'd still like me with fleas or warts or with a silly snout that snorts. That's a funny picture. Or knobbly knees or hippo hips or purple polka dotted lips. Or beaver breath or stinky toes or horns protruding from my nose. Or yikes with spikes all round my spine or hair that's like a porcupine. I still would be the same, you see. I like myself because I need. So that was that. I like myself by Karen Beaumont. So I see some more people have joined us. The Manchesters, Sopers, Bowens. Emily, awesome. Does anybody have any questions for me or anything that like you'd like to know about me before I go to the next book? I can say that I did not grow up in the North Country. I grew up in the Albany area, the capital region of New York State. So, but I have been up here living for the last 25 years, actually almost 30 years now because I came to college here. So that's what brought me to the North Country and I love it up here. And I'm so excited to be your principal. Has anyone seen the movie Wonder? Hi, Frasers. Can you give me a, a symbol or a like to let me know if you've seen the movie Wonder? Has anybody seen that movie? It came out, I believe, last fall in, in November. One of my favorites. Oh, I see a heart flying by. Someone has seen it. Well, I've read the books, but I also have... Um, R.J. Palacio, um, who's the author and illustrator of the Wonder Books, uh, wrote a quick um, and wonderful um, picture book that it's not the novel, um, but it's based on the novel and the movie. And I really, um, I was only going to read one book tonight, but my son, who's going into seventh grade this year, said, Mom, 
you need to read the Wonder Book. So I thought, you know, if, if he thinks I should read the Wonder Book, then maybe I should read it. So, oh, Sarah Kirk Kingsbury, you've seen it. Thank you for the welcomes, Jan. Oh, the fifth and sixth grade went last year to see the movie. That's awesome. So this, this in particular book, I thought would be appropriate for all the levels. I mean, you know, um, especially the little guys with the pictures, but also the big guys because the message is the same. So here we go. Hi, Jill. We are all wonders written and illustrated by RJ Placio. And again, I say, I'm going to have these books in my office all week or two if you want to stop by and see the, the, the pictures in the books, because I'd really like you to stop by and say hi. I know I am not an ordinary kid. Sure, I do ordinary things. I ride a bike, I eat ice cream, I play ball. I just don't look ordinary. I don't look like all the other kids. My mom says I'm unique. She says I'm a wonder. My dog, Daisy, she agrees. But some people don't see that I'm a wonder. All they see is how different I look. Sometimes they stare at me. They point or they laugh. They even say mean things behind my back. But I can hear them. It hurts my feelings. And it hurts Daisy's feelings too. When that happens, I put on my helmet. I put Daisy's helmet on too. And then, oops, I'm a hard time with this page. And then we blast off. Up, 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 up through the clouds, across the galaxy, all the way to Pluto. We say hello to old friends. From far away, the Earth looks so small. Oops, I'm trying to get the... I can't see any people, but I know they're there. Billions of people, people of all different colors, people who walk and talk differently, people who look different, like me. The earth is big enough for all kinds of people. I know I can't change the way I look, but maybe, just maybe, People can change the way they see. If they do, they'll see that I'm a wonder. And they'll see that they're a wonder too. We're all wonders. Look with kindness and you will always find wonder. Yeah. Well, that's one of my favorite books. Oh, I'm going to see if there's any more comments here. Thank you so much for joining me this, this, this evening before, you know, the night before school. I know it's a really, really busy time. Um, Heather, I can't wait to meet you either. Um, so does anybody else have any questions or anything they want to know about me? Anything at all? I will share, you know, there's, we'll have plenty of time to get to know each other, but I did teach, I was a classroom teacher for over 20 years. Um, I've taught uh, most grade levels, kindergarten through six. I've taught kindergarten, 
second grade, third grade, fourth grade, sixth grade. Um, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to tomorrow and please stop in and say hi and meet me and ask me questions and get to know me. And um, I'm really, really looking forward to my time in Harrisville. Thank you so much for popping in and, and joining the story. And um, again, I say to all my wonders out there who are coming to school tomorrow, have a great night's sleep and I'll see you in the morning. Bye-bye.